Good morning, Dunglen. It's Monday, September 18th. I'm Tony. And I'm Luke. And we're coming to you live from the Falcon's Nest. Students, please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance and moment of silence. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. You may be seated. 2017 homecoming is fast approaching. Remember, there's a full week of festivities before the home football game against LaVille on Friday, September 29th. There's a homecoming parade during the following parade on Friday, September 22nd. There will be a bonfire on Wednesday, September 27th at 7.30 at the softball field. Finally, there will be a pep rally on Friday after the week's spirit days. NHS members who have B lunch, we need people to pass the collection jars during B lunch starting on Monday. This is for hurricane relief. If you are in NHS and have B-Lunch, see Mrs. Carey for a day. You can help with this great project. There's a following fest, 5K and one mile run on Sunday, September 24th at 3.30. At the activity periods for today are an all-class board and student council meeting in room 116 and an art club meeting in room 304. It is time to decorate for fall and the FFA moms are now ready in the greenhouse. There are 150 now ready, and they can be purchased for $8 for one and $21 for three. Get them while they last. We have the first 150 hardy mums ready to go in the greenhouse. Hey, there's someone. Um, NHS members, sign up for your shift to help with the community pantry next week or one of the many soccer concession stand shifts that are coming up. Seniors who plan to graduate, yes, all of you will be attending a senior class meeting in the auditorium on Wednesday, September 20th at 10.30. This is when the Jostens representative will be here to pass out the information for graduation. Please bring a pen or pencil with you to the meeting. Seniors, October 11th is a great day to schedule a job, sh a job shadow or college visit. Remember, the forms are due by October 4th. If you have questions, see me, your guidance counselor or Mrs. Clendens. Anyone interested in cheerleading for basketball season or being a male lifter, please see Coach Amor before September 22nd. If any league member is interested in visiting the North Liberty and Walkerton Elementary on Wednesday, September 20th in the afternoon, please come and see Mrs. Dodson today. If you are a freshman or a new student to John Glenn High School, please be sure to check your school email for an invitation to complete a new student survey. The guidance department wants your feedback about our school. Thank you for your help. Homecoming candidates for our club are Jacob Borton and Carly Donathan. All homecoming candidates need to see Mrs. Horvath for a homecoming resume. There will be a cornhole tournament this Saturday, September 23rd, starting at 11.30 a.m. at the John Glenn Baseball Field. Cost is $20 per team. First and second place winners will receive a trophy and a Visa gift card. Please see Mr. Nadoni in study hall to sign up your team. Happy birthday today to Adam Wiley and Jacob Frankowitz. And now here's Alex Ross with information about the Hurricane Relief Fundraiser. Hello, I'm Alex Ross. You probably know me. I'm sure you've probably heard about the tragedies that have happened in Texas and Florida in the past several weeks. Hurricane Harvey made landfall as a Category 4 hurricane in Texas, having winds near 130 miles an hour and dumping in excess of four feet of rain. Hurricane Irma, a Category 5 hurricane impacting many parts of Florida, was the most intense hurricane to strike the United States since Katrina in 2005. These disasters claimed a combined total of over 150 lives and caused billions of dollars in damage. Could you imagine being in that situation? Don't you want to help out some of these people? Like, no, really, be serious with me for a moment. If we all collectively joined together and contributed some money, even just a little bit from each person, we could make a bigger difference than you think. We're, we're probably not going to single-handedly rebuild cities, but if we could help turn the lives around of just a few people, then I think it would be totally worth it. So here's what we're going to do. Each day this week at lunch, someone from either NHS League or Ms. Hurlmeyer's AP government class will be at the table by the athletic office to collect money. We will have a jar for each grade level as well as for teachers. If you put dollar bills in a jar, then that will add to the total amount of money for that grade. If you put coins in a jar, then it will subtract from the amount of money for that grade. Let me just make sure we're on the same page here. This means that you would probably want to put paper money in your grades jar and coins in the other jars. We'll sum up the money at the end of each day and announce the standings during announcements every day. 
The grade with the highest count at the end of the week will win free ice cream at lunch during homecoming week. Plus, anyone in that grade will be able to get into the homecoming football game for only $3. If you or your family happens to miss this opportunity at lunch, we'll also be collecting money during the football game this Friday as well as the homecoming game next Friday. Some of the tents at following will also have bins for collecting money. If you have questions, please do not hesitate to contact Ms. Dodson, Ms. Carey, Ms. Hurlmeyer, or your class president. Um, we'll be able to, I mean, if we, if we come together, we'll be able to make a huge difference. And maybe that sounds kind of cliche, but it's completely true. These people really need our help. And in fact, here's a compilation of some of the terrible situations that these people have been having to deal with. We're getting close to John Glenn's following festival. Rides, games, food, two parades, music, and entertainment. Three days of fun, September 22nd, 23rd, and 24th. Ride wristband tickets are on sale in the office now, cash only. $17 for one day or only $44 for all three days. That's all we have for you today. Thanks for watching. I'm Tony. And I'm Luke. And that's the view from the Falcon's Nest. Here's what's up with Following Fest. And this year there's even more rides! <laughs> Cool. Friday, September 22nd through Sunday, September 24th in Walkerton. With some big boom and fireworks. We're transforming John Glenn High School into a full-blown carnival midway. With kids rides and big rides. Live entertainment. Craft vendors galore. A petting zoo. We kick it off Friday with a huge parade. And the food is so good. Follow Wheat Fest. Brought to you by TCU, RB Car Company, and Polygon. Followweedfest.com.